me clearly, America is not a racist country. All right, y'all. Y'all remember when Tim Scott introduced his girlfriend after a debate? And then I think like the very next day, he dropped out of the 2024 presidential race. Well, he just got engaged to her. But I think most of us are not shocked. We're not shocked. So let's get into the story. So South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, a possible VP pick, is engaged to be married. So, you know, I, I just saw another article where Nikki Haley said she was disappointed that Tim Scott did not endorse her. Because, you know, he came out, I think, like two days ago and endorsed Donald Trump. And she, I guess, thought that because they're both from South Carolina, he would endorse her, but he didn't. So Senator Tim Scott, a former presidential candidate and possible Republican VP nominee, proposed to his girlfriend, Mindy Nose, Saturday evening at the beach. Okay. Kiowa Island in South Carolina. She said yes, as a guy who is mostly an introvert and on the quiet side, having to have a conversation about the engagement is a little, you know, uncomfortable in a way, but it's the most exciting thing I'll do with my life besides making Jesus my Lord. Okay, this is what he's saying in a Sunday interview. I've been very patient and prayerful, and I'm really excited and somewhat nervous, but I couldn't be more thankful for having uh, found a soulmate, someone who shares a lot of the same interests, passions, and goals that I do. So his girlfriend, a Charleston area interior designer and mother of three, who was previously married was spotted Sunday at a church, Mount Pleasant in South Carolina, wearing an engagement ring. My joke is as soon as I saw her picture, I figured it out. But the truth is about two weeks into it, I knew there was something very different about her and her faith, he said. In our first conversation, that went about an hour and a half or two, we ended up deciding to do a Bible study to, uh, together. So this is what he's saying. He said he had approached her parents about two weeks ago, uh, just before Christmas, to ask for their blessing with their approval. He said about planning the proposal one of his friends rejected an early idea proposing after a pickleball game, a hobby that both of them enjoy. He settled on a sunset proposal. So I guess that's why they're out there on the beach. He described awkwardly trying to dissuade her from wearing gloves when they walked out on the sand and uh, positioned someone to take a photograph of the event. Scott 58 endorsed Donald Trump presidential campaign Friday in New Hampshire after abandoning, you know, he dropped out of the race. He abandoned his own presidential bid last year. His campaign backed by uplifting message significant early TV advertising failed to gain traction after several debate performances where he overshadowed, um, you know, he really was overshadowed by Nikki Haley. I did notice that too. You know, they were really more focused on her than him during the debates. And it was very obvious really early on in the GOP debates. 
So a lifelong bachelor who is only, you know, and that says a lot about America, he's the only black representation in the U.S. Senate, was previously engaged more than two decades ago, but never married. So he's saying he, him and his now fiance plan to marry this year. Mm hmm. You know, that's why some people think he may be a VP pick. Okay, so he disclosed during the campaign that he was dating someone he met through his church. After a November debate in Miami, he brought his girlfriend at the time on the stage to pose for a photograph. And yes, I, I did a video on that. Months before the debate, Scott told the Washington Post that he was dating a Christian woman who agreed with his religious values. I can't imagine dragging her onto the campaign trail unless I have the intention of marrying her, he said. I hope that happens, to be honest with you. He later tried to amend that remark. I guess I shouldn't be I should be careful about what I say. Strike that comment, what he said at the time. But, you know, it's too late. You know, once it's out there, Tim, there is no retracting it. You're going to have to tell me what you think about Tim Scott being engaged. And to be honest with you, I don't, I, I don't see too many in our community upset that he's taken off the market. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.